you know, one of, one of the things that the sheriff wants to make real sure, and tell these guys, these are not slot machines. They, they can't become slot machines. They have to, just like if you had a diesel engine and a gas engine, you'd have to take the whole engine out. And answer to the, the other question I get is yes, this is gambling, just like the dog track is. But the random selection when the dogs come in is the same random selection as these balls drop. It's, it's gambling, but it's legalized. It's been authorized by Constitutional Amendment 744 here in Macon County. It's different than anywhere else in the state other than in Greene County. So I guess bottom line, you declare these legal in Macon County in the state of Alabama. These games meet all the standards that are required for a device to be operable in this county. With that said, Sheriff, do you declare it legal and that it can open? Do you declare... He asked the Sheriff, and I think the Sheriff finds, he accepts these, these results Sheriff, and, and, and he declares these are not slot machines, they are bingo machines. So Victory Land can reopen. As far as these machines are concerned, they are bingo machines. Uh, you know, when you crank your car up, in the, when you crank your car up, there's a computer in there that tells how much gas to go. When you're trying to find some place, you just put that address in your GPS system and uh, you're there. This force will guide you straight into there, into wherever you're going, your destination. With all of the technical advances, we put a man on the moon. We've, uh, we've uh, all kind of medical advances, all of these computer software applications that are so embedded in our daily lives to think that you cannot make a machine that would play bingo. It's just not, uh, you, you, you know, it's beyond, uh, it's beyond the pale. One other thing, as a sheriff of uh, Macon County and the person who's been authorized by uh, the Constitutional Amendment 744, I accept these machines as legal. They are, uh, 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 how clear can it be that these machines play bingo? I am not a gambler myself. If Victor Land had to, were, had to <laughs> depend on me to play, we'd be all, we'd all be broke. But, the jobs I have seen personally, people who lost their houses, people who had to pull their children out of school, out of college, people having to move in who were, who were gainful employed. And you know what our economic situation is statewide. To have these people not to be able to work it's really a shame, and, uh, and and especially when the Indians are doing it. What is so different about what the Indians are doing and what these machines at Victory Land are doing? Could, could you have that explained to you any simpler? Uh, I, I'm, I, I'm, I, I just hope and pray that uh, we're able to resume this industry here and that the people of Macon County are given their jobs back so that they can take care of their families, do everything that they need to do, and when I speak for David Warren as a sheriff, I speak for David Warren 
and the citizens of this county. I don't have any special agenda. I am the sheriff. I love this county and I love my, love the people, every one of them. And that's it. I don't think I can put it there or something. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank all of you for coming. We'll be around to answer questions if it has anything.